the position of a particle as a function of time x of t is equals to a t plus b t square minus c t cube where a b and c are constants when the particle attains zero acceleration then its velocity will be so the given displacement as a function of time first to find out the velocity we know rate of change of displacement is called velocity v is equals to d by dt of at plus bt square minus c t cube here a is constant dt by dt is equals to 1 plus b into d by dt of t square 2t minus c into d by dt of t cube is equals to 3t square this is velocity and now acceleration rate of change of velocity differentiate velocity with respect to time a plus 2 bt minus 3 c t square differentiation of constant is 0 and 2 b constant dt by dt is equals to 1 minus 3 c into d by dt of t square is 2 t this is a acceleration we have to find out the velocity when acceleration of the particle is 0 So two b minus six c t is equals to zero. From this, six c into t is equals to two b, two ones, two threes. Time t is equals to b by three c. Substitute t in velocity. V is equals to a plus. 2b into t in place of time b by 3c minus 3c into t square b by 3c whole square a plus 2b square by 3c minus 3bc here b whole square is there 3b square c by 9 C square three ones three threes and one C get cancelled. Then V is equals to A plus two B square by three C minus B square by three C two B square minus B square. So it becomes velocity V is equals to A plus B square by three C. When acceleration is equals to zero, then velocity of the particle is a plus b square by three c. Fourth option is correct.